Ever been in a Rocket League game thinking to yourself, wow, these guys are monkeys? Well, what if I told you sometimes you're the monkey? Today, I'm going to show you a dribbling tip King Ranny taught me to retake control of your games and spot monkey challengers before they get you. Here's what most people do wrong. When most players start a dribble, they'll take the ball and go straight down the middle towards the opponent's net. The problem is if your defender is goal side and you're pushing in a straight line at them, the ball is going to obstruct your field of view and make it impossible to see them. Instead, if when you get the ball, your first touch is on an angle away from the opponent, you'll be able to spot the opponent throughout the entire challenge. For example, if the opponent is on their back right side of the field and you get the ball on the back right of yours, your first touch should be towards the left side of the field rather than straight ahead. Whether you're carrying the ball or doing a bounce dribble, this is what allows you to get out plays that absolutely expose your opponents. This is the real secret behind what Flakes does in tons of his videos. Play in field. It's gonna challenge, parse like cut, and to uh, just jump up in a shot. You see what I mean now? Because Flake saw both of his opponents in the back left, all he had to do was play it to the right, and it set himself up for a perfect outplay. So next time you get the ball, dribble on an angle rather than straight at the opponent's net, and then it won't matter if they're monkeys, because you'll win either way. Join my Discord for more free Rocket League tips, or if you're a serious competitive player and you're 18 plus years old, DM me on Discord with the keyword ball to learn more about my coaching before we sell out. Thanks for watching.